This video will show you how to create a Turnitin PureMark assignment in Moodle. Please navigate to your course homepage and turn editing on. Then click on the name of your assignment to which you want to add PureMark for students to peer review the submitted papers. It is recommended to not create the PureMark assignment until all the submissions, including late submissions, have been made. For questions on creating a Turnitin assignment in Moodle, please see the How to Create a Turnitin Assignment in Moodle video. Click on this icon to launch PeerMark. Then click the green plus sign icon. The name of the original assignment comes over from Moodle, but feel free to rename it. Please put the directions for the peer review here. If you are assigning a point value to the peer review, please do not enter in that score here. The grade given for the review does not go to the grade book, nor does it display to the students correctly. We are working with Moodle to fix this now. In the meantime, it is recommended to put the point value in the directions for the student and to manually add a grade column and enter in the peer review grade there. Next, enter the start date for the peer review. The start date should come after the due date of the original paper. Then enter in the due date for the review and the feedback release date. The feedback release date is when students who were reviewed are allowed to see what their peers thought of their paper. If you need to cancel a peer review, you can click here. Please do not click the green plus sign icon as this will create another peer review assignment. You can choose save and continue or additional settings at this point. Under additional settings, do not choose to award full points for a review submission as the grade does not go anywhere. You can choose to allow students to view their reviewer's name as well as their submitter's names. You can allow students that did not submit a paper to review a paper. You can also choose how many reviews each student will be given, or you can allow students to choose their own papers to review. You can require the students to make a self-review. Click Save and Continue. Next, click the PeerMark Questions tab. You can add existing PeerMark questions from your library or choose to add a new question. To add a question from a library, choose the library from the drop-down menu and then choose the question or questions you want to add. When you are done, click Add Selected Questions. To add questions that are not already in a library, choose the question type, free response or scale are your choices. For free response, enter in the question and set a minimum answer length, then click save. You can also choose scale as a question type. Enter in the question and choose the scale size, 2 to 5 are your choices. Be sure to indicate which is the lowest value and which is the highest value. For clarity purposes, the format of scale questions should be explicit. For example, your question should state, rate this paper's overall readability, one, unreadable, two, somewhat readable, three, readable, four, not bad, five, very readable. Then scroll down and click Save. The questions will show once they are saved. You can choose to save your questions to a library if you wish. To add them to a library, choose an existing library or choose to create a new library. If you create a new library, be sure to name it and save it. You can also choose to delete an existing library. You can choose to reorder your review questions. If needed, you can also delete individual questions or edit them. Once a peer mark assignment start date has passed, the questions cannot be edited, nor can new questions be added. Next, choose the Distribution tab. You can see a list of your students. You can also see how many reviews have been assigned to each student by the system. You can choose to pair the authors manually by clicking the blue plus icon, or to exclude a student from making a review by clicking on the red minus icon. 
If you want to pair authors manually, click on the student's name, then click Confirm. If you roll over the information icon, you can see who the student was paired with. If you assign students manually, it will show next to the word forced. If you have assigned one peer review for the students, this becomes their one peer review. If you need to unpair students, click the blue minus icon. If you continue pairing students for the peer review, please be aware that the student list to choose from will include all the students' names, not just the ones that have not been paired yet. If you allow Turnitin to pair up the students automatically, you will not see who they are paired with when you hover over the information icon. It will say none assigned, even if they have been assigned a student. Click close and you will be taken back to the main screen.